Sullen. Hey everyone, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the Patreon or the channel where we're currently watching from and today I'll be sharing my thoughts in regards to episodes 3 and 4 of Queendom Puzzle. Now keep in mind as always, keep things a grain of salt when you're watching Queendom Puzzle or any Mnet show. The matter of fact, I've got to uh, say from the evil editing, the certain schemes that they like to do, they always like to do it. In terms of creating some sort of quote-unquote buzz for their shows always despised mnet doing that still to this day but of course i'm always down to look forward to the interactions on queendom puzzle as well as the friendships that can possibly spawn and then last but not least the top seven pairing in terms of the final team and grouping that will occur in the finale for queendom puzzle now let me dive straight into episode three obviously uh, and try to save some uh, time here because episode three connected with episode four and from episode two they were trying to wrap things up for the teams that performed snap and charismatic so all in all we got the experts coming in loved that for voting their favorite teams and also MVPs from those favored uh, teams and giving their reasons why. Except for Ryan Eschen, I said my two cents about him time after time. And even in my recent video talking about the semi-final votes personally from me, top seven uh, contestants for those certain three songs, of course. If you haven't seen that, be sure to do so. But staying on track here, Team Athena won for Snap. Wieso got voted as MVP, really liked how she was voted as MVP. Same goes for pick on the top for Charismatic. I thought that was quite the 50-50 split right there in terms of being the favorite team to win. But Nana got voted as MVP. And next thing you know, their benefits in fact play into the next battle round, right? The 7v7 where they either had to end up choosing a song being on the same team or choosing their own songs and picking their own teams and then picking and making the rest of the teams for those respective songs so we had nude right away of course nana she picked this song ended up choosing jihan dohua and suyun i think these were the right choices obviously knowing what happened later on for fighting we actually got ellie jiwoo jiri Jui, sujin and yuki quite the surprise of a combination uh there for that team shut down huiso chose her team with fai sanga and rina really liked those choices especially fai she's shown a lot of growth on this show and a lot of new sides to her that we haven't seen from her in the past if you're not too familiar of her and then for only one i think this was the match made in heaven with soan and k of course and then the final two teams don't call me with miru uyun yurum and yin dance the night away all three cherry bullet contestants jiwon bora chairin soyan and yun he now this becomes an ever-growing problem where the contestants judge each other and now they get to pick their own teams now obviously nude and shut down their teams were picked nicely i felt like the only issue here was oh we got to fill up more places for team fighting and we got to really choose uh, what they feel like would match these songs correctly which was dance the night away so i think it was it wasn't that nice to put all of pretty much cherry bullet into dance the night away with soyan 
and Yunhi. And then for fighting, obviously, Jury was the only one who ended up wanting to perform that song. The others wanted to perform Nude or Don't Call Me, of course. The only people that could really object from these picks is the teams or the members that were a part of Team Athena or pick on the top. They were allowed to object from these picks from Huiso and Nana. So it was unfortunate on that end, but it was great to see all these performance come into fruition with no mistakes. Now, how the results go, we had Team Nude in first place. We had Fighting on, at second place. We had Don't Call Me at third. Fourth place was only one, surprisingly enough. Fifth place was Dance the Night Away and shut down surprisingly enough ended up being in last place at sixth i honestly did not agree with the on-site voting you could obviously tell it was super uh biased in terms of the performances i think we can all agree to that but i don't want to take away from team nude at all really liked how they decided to pick the ropes using the ropes in as the part of the choreography I liked it at the intro and all. But then after seeing the other performances, such as fighting, I loved how engaging their performance was as it should be. They kept the overall original concept, did set roles, utilized the stage well, used prop work, had some storytelling at the beginning. I was in fact surprised that they didn't overtake the first place spot with their performance, right? Then for Shutdown, they were the next group to perform, and they nailed it completely. Fi nailed her uh, main uh, vocal uh, part, and I liked how they decided, let's just keep it as it is, and Rena convinced Wieso that you're really good at introducing songs and kickstarting performances within high key and outside of high key. So... I think they nailed that performance completely. Sangha spot on with the facial expressions and how she showcased herself throughout that performance. Rina did her own thing, of course. And then for only one, right? Ended up getting fourth place. The chemistry was there from the start. Actually, from the start in terms of before the show, the combination between Jockball and oh you milk was surprising by k but apparently it is good confirmed by uh so and i liked how they kept the the choreo and did a play on it almost like a musical and just the presence by the two of them was emotionally powerful i love the placement of the mirror in the back with the backup dancers how they were tied to each other and bonded to each other really loved their performance don't call me loved how this moment was shown where miru and yin had uh something together where yin helped out miru figure out the choreo as it's a really difficult song to perform by the legendary boy group of course shiny loved that moment loved how uyin bounced back from her up down performance overcame her nerves and truly shown what she's all about and at the same time shown a completely new side to herself Yeram, truly an ace and all-rounder popped off with the grand piano and the dance break i've got to say and yin did her thing obviously dance the night away was the final performance right took a festival energetic approach to it Right, and at the end of the day, it was trying to be decided between Yunhi and Bora. I like how they went with Bora. The only thing that I can critique about that performance is all those peak highlightable moments felt like it was simply done by Bora. Like, I couldn't really pinpoint like a highlightable moment by Jiwon, Cheren, Soyeon, and Yunhi, in fact, right? You know, aside from the chemistry being really good and their voices and their presence matching the song really well together, you know what I'm saying? So no mistakes on that end. 
I just wish there was more so highlightable moments by the other members within that team. But personally for me, I've got to say I gotta go with either fighting or only one in first place. And then in second place, don't call me or shut down respectively. Uh, there I've got to say second or uh, third. So obviously third place, don't call me. Fourth place, shut down, vice versa. Then I would strongly put nude in fifth and then dance the night away in sixth. Really hard choice. But I felt like with the other performances, with fighting, uh, only one left a bigger impact on me. You know what I'm saying? There was this emotional impact that was provided in only one. Fighting was very engaging. A lot of details within that particular performance and the concept that was tied along to their performance and all. So... It really goes to show you the on-site voting was very biased and uh, I felt like it all boils down to song choice unfortunately. If for for example like in Team Shutdown or some of the contestants asking themselves did I do something wrong like so in within Team Only One? It's not them obviously it was song choice right? I felt like Shutdown right from the start it's not that of a, a favorite song out of the bunch locally right i personally actually like some of these songs slightly more than uh shut down but they came through with an amazing performance so i don't i don't know what's with the on-site voting and at the same time what was the standard apparently nude and fighting was the standard in terms of high votes everyone so it couldn't possibly go up to like 230 250 or even 300 like the contestants were guessing but this leads into episode four episode four we had team queendom and team puzzle being sorted out into this episode where taeyun drawn the members for both teams actually so yunhee right away she was the first team for team queendom and then k for team puzzle nana followed up she wanted to be on the same team as K. Bora wanted to be on the same team as K due to, you know, wanting to sing together and perform together. Next thing you know, Uyan, Joa. Nobody is picking team between them so far. I'm, so I'm like scratching my head. I'm like, what's going on? So it makes sense. It's like, oh, you see all these other stacked, you know, members on this team. Might as well join them. But. You gotta give it for Jiwoo coming through and hugging Yunhee. I love that sweet moment uh, there. And also just the other members that ended up j joining Team Queendom with Yunhee, I've got to uh, say. So I liked how it played out there. But of course, that, that did not was not the finalizing moment for these two separate teams to move on for the all-rounder battle. In fact, the benefits ended up being shown from Team Nude. Each member from Team Nude got to recruit a certain member from each team. And obviously, Team Puzzle had more of the winning members from Team Nude on their side. But Jihan, she picked Quiso to come through the Team Puzzle. Dohua made a power play move, in my humblest opinion, to bring back Quiso to Team Queendom because she's much needed she's truly an ace to come through with her powerful uh vocals and all and then this was the surprising move where nana decided to pick jiwoo to come to team puzzle i think this was completely fine by nana to pick jiwoo but obviously what happened later on obviously the other contestants didn't like that move like they would prefer a different contestant on their team and then the likes of for example if I recall correctly, Yuram had the reason of like, I haven't seen, you know, your fullest potential yet or something uh, like uh, that. But it was the, due to the reason of Jiwoo coming through with a really good performance in team fighting. And then last but not least, Suyun ended up recruiting Yuki to team puzzle. So that's how it ended up uh, being uh, played out. But obviously, unfair team puzzle quantity wise and i would say dare i say quality wise 
uh, if we're saying in terms of being balanced out, had more contestants on their side. So next thing you know, they had to sort it out. Mnet had to sort it out, and unfortunately, they did it through a ballot. They were literally making Team Puzzle stand right beside each other and vote and provide their reasons on their ballot of why, unfortunately, I want to really kick this contestant to go to the team, team uh, Queendom and all. And uh, next thing you know, of course, Nana's pick to recruit Jiwoo gets overturned. Uh, and we get this heartbreaking moment seeing Sujin break down and having to go to Team Queendom. So obviously, this was the most heartbreaking moment and foul moment by Mnet other than them showing who did the upvotes, who did the, the downvotes from Episode 1 and Episode uh, 2. So... With that being said, at this point, I'm like, there's no way I'm not rooting for Team Queendom. One reason why is majority of the contestants on Team Queendom haven't gained the benefits yet. They've sh shown so much or they have a lot more to show. For example, where's my screen time for uh, Ellie? I want her highlightable uh, moment, right? So it's like, I really want this team to come through and especially with now Jiwoo and Sujin in that team, I feel like I want to see an upset uh, here against more so of a team Avengers from Team uh, Puzzle. But at this point, they had to choose their first, second, and third round of songs. First round being Weekend by Taeyeon, Gradation by 10 Centimeters, Rush Hour by Crush, and who was racing right now? Jiwoo. And of course, Rina had to race to really place their team on the map for one of these three songs for the first round for the all round battle. Of course, uh, Team Puzzle, they ended up getting their number one pick, Rush Hour. I felt like both teams were right on wanting to pick Rush Hour by Crush. Such a fun, engaging song at the end of the day. And then, of course, the, the second best pick, ended up being Weekend by Taeyeon. As much as I love Gradation by 10 centimeters, I felt like Weekend was a great uh, choice for Team Kingdom to kick it off. The second round, however, was more so the ballad round where we got If We Ever Meet Again by Lim Young Un, very popular song locally in Korea, That's Okay by D.O., Hopeless Romantic by Big Naughty, another popular song locally. I think this is where it's like, I really wish the team picked up that's okay by D. Oh, I felt like they could have came through with quite the approach and certain concept tied along that that's okay by D. Oh, and uh, really connect on emotional standpoint with the crowd. But the number one pick here was if we ever meet again, Team Puzzle got that pick. And then Hopeless Romantic was the second best pick that Team Queendom uh, wanted. Last but not least, third round. Time of Our Life by Day 6, Set Me Free by Twice, Event Horizon by Yunha, and Wanna Be by Itzy. Automatically, automatically right away, the third song didn't make sense for me because it's more so slower and tempo, emotional gravitating uh, type of uh, song, very meaningful locally. And after the second round, I don't think it was right to really end it off with Event Horizon. So it makes sense, both teams, one pick is Time of Our Life by Day 6. Fortunately, Team Queendom ended up getting that song, a finale kind of kickoff or finisher, I should say, for the third round. And then Team Puzzle wanted to choose Set Me Free or Wannabe. They thought, okay, let's do a rock approach for Wannabe. And then that's how things ended up coming to be. So Team Queendom ended up being Yunhee, Soyeon, Jury, Dohua. Huiso, So An Eli Miru, Cheren, Jui, Bai, Jiwoo, and Sujin. Team Puzzle, K, Nana, Bora, Uyun, Doa, Jihan, Jiwon, Ian, Suyun, Yuram, and Sangha, and Yuki. So I liked how these teams come about. It's just unfortunate they had to do that third shuffle to sort things out when they could have kept it originally from 
episode uh, three after they had their, all their performances and the results ended up coming about in terms of the 7v7 battle and honestly i just wish we got this like team voting from us or the ex experts from the start like as far as early as episode two everyone i really thought this show was gonna get better with episode three and, and four but unfortunately we got that foul tasting a uh, moment in episode four every uh one so i really hope team queendom does sort of an upset kind of comeback here every uh one how about you guys let me know your thoughts in regards to queendom puzzle so far unfortunately it's not my favorite uh it's actually not my favorite queendom kingdom uh show by mnet so far but i'm really looking forward to the next episode see how the all-rounder battle uh goes and i like how now we finally get to pick our ideal teams for the semi-final round for the three respective songs if you haven't seen my video in regards to my personal votes be sure to do so with reasonings and all i think my top seven pickings will never be solidified except for the likes of k and quite possibly bora i've got to say then switch swapping with jihan and of course sujin jihan and sujin but also with Wiso, rena it's it's moving ever so uh slightly i've got to say but be sure to like subscribe as it goes a long way and helps out the channel and it warms my heart connecting with y'all quite frankly in the comment section down below sorry i had a brain freeze uh moment uh there but take care as always this has been garrison if you're interested in full episode reactions to queendom puzzle i have it on my patreon readily available but take care and peace